Hello, this is Gyro Gearloose with RV Hacking on the Cheap. Today we'll be discussing LED lighting. Is it really worth changing out your incandescent bulbs for LED bulbs? On many websites, LED bulbs can cost up to $20 or even $30 per fixture, which at that price, unless you're a hardcore boondocker, is probably not worth the price. However, as we always do, we'll address price in just a moment. The first question is how much can really be gained if we replace these with these? These are the normal incandescent bulbs that come with most RVs. This is a standard incandescent T10 type bulb, which is used in this type of fixture all over the ceiling of your RV, possibly in the stove and outside lights. This is an 1141 type bulb, which may be used in decorative lights like this dome light. Regardless of which type of bulb you're replacing, the math comes out roughly the same. This is an LED replacement for the T10 bulb. This particular one has 68 individual LEDs on it, and it's easier to see the two contacts on the base of this against the white. This is my replacement for the 1141 bulb. It has 50 individual LEDs on it. When I tested the incandescent T10 bulb in the upper left of this frame, it measured 1.35 amps being drawn. When I measured the incandescent 1141 bulb low left on the frame, it measured 1.4 amps being drawn. But how did my LED replacements measure? The 68 element T10 type bulb measured 0.17 amps being drawn, producing just about the same light, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. The LED replacement for the 1141 bulb was drawing 0.14 amps. So just by power savings, if the light output was anywhere near, it would be almost a 10 times saving of power. That would mean your battery would last 10 times as long running the exact same light fixtures. If you're not doing a lot of heating and cooling, this could make the difference of running your lights for one night or running them for an entire week. That's a huge difference, absolutely critical if you're a boondocker or someone who simply saves money by not paying for electrical hookups when not needed. And of course, we should note that this may make the difference of whether electrical hookups are needed. If we assume a $5 surcharge for having electrical hookups, which is typical at many campsites, these bulbs may actually pay for themselves in as short as a long weekend. You may be wondering what these bulbs actually cost. The answer is that the T10 bulb cost me $1.30 each, or $26 for 20 of them. The 1141 bulb cost $1.50 each. I paid $6 for four of them. For a total investment of $31, these bulbs will have paid for themselves after six nights of not paying the $5 surcharge at a campground. Now let's look at what's necessary for installation of the LED replacement bulbs. A lot of people are concerned changing anything about the electrical system of their trailer. I assure you that this replacement is extremely easy to do and completely safe. Here's a T10 fixture on the ceiling of my trailer. To access the bulbs, simply slide the lens aside and pull down. To remove the old bulb, simply grab it and pull straight out. To install the new bulb, simply put it in the slot and push inward until it seats. It's that simple. Many people ask me if the light output is really equivalent. I deliberately selected a 68 element LED to make sure it was at least as bright as the prior bulb. On other lights, such as reading lights and convenience lights, I'll sometimes intentionally use fewer LEDs so I don't blind myself with what's supposed to be just a map light or reading light. Now let's compare the light output of these two bulbs. Hopefully the camera is capturing this. The LED is in fact much brighter than the incandescent bulb. It looks a little bit blue in this video, but it is actually a very pure white. I prefer the pure white output of these LEDs. However, they are also available in a more natural white light that is closer to the incandescence color. As you can see, the incandescent bulb is a very yellow light, which actually makes it look even dimmer yet to human eyes. You may be wondering, if the bulb is saving that much energy, where is all the rest of the energy going? The answer is fairly simple. Heat. And a lot of it. I've had these bulbs on about five minutes now, and I can very comfortably put my fingers right on the LEDs of the LED bulb. It's not even warm yet. This bulb, ow, <laughs> is actually extremely hot. Many nights when I've been using more lights, this is actually a noticeable effect. You start to heat the trailer with your lights. That's not a good thing if it's already a hot day and you don't want to run air conditioning. What if you install the replacement LED bulbs and when you go to turn it on, you get this? What does that mean? Well, unlike incandescent bulbs, LEDs have a polarity. Negative must be connected to negative and positive must be connected to positive. With incandescent bulbs, it's just a big heater and it doesn't care which way the power is going. If you do plug in your LED replacement bulbs and get this effect, or even worse, neither bulb lighting, it's very simple. 
Simply take the bulb, flip it over, and push it back in. There we go. To replace the lens, simply place it back into the wide part of the slot, slightly displaced, and push it in. If you're replacing 1141 type bulbs, they mount to their base by little lugs that snap into a J-shaped slot. The bulb socket is spring-loaded. To remove the bulb, simply push inward and rotate up until the lugs come off. To replace the bulb, simply do the reverse. Pl press the lugs back into the J-slot and rotate until it sticks. Unlike with the T10 bulbs, you cannot get the reverse polarity with these bulbs because the outside collar with the lugs is always negative, and the stem on the base of the bulb is always positive. It is impossible to put them in reverse polarity. In this case, if you get a bulb that does not light, it actually is defective. And here's that fixture all reassembled. This has been Gyro Gear Loose with RV Hacking on the Cheap. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe.